What are you lot? How are you doing? Right, we're on another park up. Come to see Steve again. He's parked just round the corner. But we're on this lovely little bit of bay here, look. I've got a big berth out. I've got a little grey wagtail bobbing around in front of me. Get some footage and a few photographs for you up of that. But we got the red breasted Magansas out there fishing. There's a seal just down there, sitting on a rock. We're quite close to the road, as you would have just heard. But, by our past six, bearing in mind this is the main road round the island, by our past six, seven o'clock, as quiet as a grave. And that old seal made us laugh. It just did the loudest burp you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> it was well loud. Even put Sammy to shame. <laughs> right. Got a couple of ships out there in the harbour. Look at that. Beautiful. As I say, got a big berth out today. It's a 600mm Prime L series lens. And the R5 mirrorless camera on the back on a Gitzo tripod and all this camouflage stuff is by lens coat and this is for, by lens coat as well and this when it's really cold or you want to stay proper camoed you can put your hand in there and operate the camera so you can pull all this down close that up so it can't be seen and then put your hand in and operate the camera from the side so that's a double handy bit of kit. And this is the Gitzo fluid gimbal head on there. Nice and smooth, good shots. Only thing is with these, these slide up and these do slide up and down. You have to keep tightening them up. So I put a bit of camo, soft fabric camo tape on the bottom and a few bits of recce tape there to stop it moving. That there is a pad that you put, when you put it on your shoulder, you can put it on your shoulder on that pad. And then on this side, this is a lens coat shoulder sling that goes in between your legs of your tripod. So you can put your shoulder under here and carry it about. And on the front, I keep a little lens cloth. But that's really comfortable when you've got it on the shoulder. It's, people say, oh, isn't that heavy? It's not really heavy at all, to be fair. I mean, I've carried that for miles, absolute miles and miles and miles and miles. God knows how many photographs I've taken through that camera body. But it's not, not heavy at all. The actual tripod's all carbon fibre. It's only the lens that weighs a bit, really. But that's quite a... That's a Series 3. Mark 3. And, oh, got two seals coming in. And it's light as Larry, that is. So, let's get some pictures of these seals coming in. I'll show you. They've just stuck down there. And we've come here because we thought there might be more seals banking up here. But they're all going down there. There's two there now. Might have to walk down there. I'll wait until I'll get up on the rocks and I'll go down there. But they're all swimming in to meet each other now. They've all been fishing for the day and they're all going to go and burp on them rocks. Let's go down there and have a little look, eh? So I'll come down a bit further. Where have we got these seals? Just in front of us. Absolutely magical. Look at that. Perfect light today. Gorgeous light. Just peeking over the top of the hill over the back there through those trees look at that light coming down there in the mist that is heavenly isn't it we've got through this like little gap this little v here in the rocks got the seals basking on the higher ground there higher rocks we've got cormorants got an oyster catcher coming in there The Magansas, can hear the red shanks and the curlew. You love it, eh? 
perfect. Happy days. There's an otter on the coast, jumped out, and they're out there. I think there's two playing. Number three on the list. Wow, three. <laughs> Just got to get the goldies now. And the squirrel. And the red squirrel, yeah. Is there a Yeah, that's, that's definitely an otter. Yes, Come got on a the flipping bank. otter. Come on the bank. I don't think I've ever seen a sea otter. Happy flipping days. days. So we just had her out on a rock. And it disappeared. And we was like, it's gone the other way. Legged it back here. Sammy's got her camera hanging out of the van. And she's got it back up here. Now it's disappeared again. But we got her. Oh, we got an otter. <laughs> Thank you. 
lovely. We're oh, eating an that otter, eh? <laughs> wow. It was near enough pitch dark. I was wide open at f4, f which is the biggest aperture, biggest, uh, aperture you, this lens has got. And I was on 32,000 ISO. Woo! Big guns out. We're just watching some... Uh, some shag. They're a bit like a cormorant, but a bit smaller. And they've got like a tuft on the top of their heads. And there's cormorant and shag out here. It's nice to see shag. They're flipping lovely birds. Very agile underwater they swim underwater absolutely fantastic we're parked there steve's just popped into town into broddick which is over here and if you need any fuel for your van or anything over there where the uh, ship is in there's a filling station there so you can get your fuel just had a big rain cloud come through boshed it down with rain enough time for me to have two cups of tea and now he's stopped and it's glorious again. There's all little rock pools appearing now. I'm going to have a little mooch through here. I love rock pooling. Do you like rock pooling? I love it. As a kid, I used to be always in the rock pools with a little net. Flipping great. I love little net. She was lovely. But, um, yeah, look. There's always the catches out there. I've got a couple of herring gulls on the rock over there. Got the Magansas in the distance. But apparently this big ship here, there's a ferry coming in there, look. Apparently that big ship there is transporting stuff for the wind farms. But Brodick is just there. And it's amazing to think, this blew my mind. Sammy was like, do you know how many people are on the island? I said, no, so she Googled it. I've got more subscribers than there are people on this island. <laughs> My brain just exploded when she said that. I think there's 4,400-ish residents on this island. But how flipping cool is that? That's well good. Little van going past. But the people we've met on the island are absolutely beautiful. We've seen in the last video, we went in a few shots. Mark's wife is a darling, Tracy. Come here, you've got to go in her shop. The stuff in there is just amazing, beautiful, all handmade by her. There's a few other bits from other artisans on the island. But let's get up here without breaking my neck. Wee, it's a bit slippery. But look at that. How peaceful. Right, let's get off a bit of that break minute. It's well slippery. There we go. There's loads of slap. What's that? Looks like a bit of a leg of a starfish, that does. It's a bit of starfish leg. That'd be alright, they grow back. Crazy, isn't it? Spiders and octopus and starfish grow legs back. Why can't we grow legs back? Then we'll sort that out sooner or later. Get to grow a leg. What else is in here? Look at this. See me wellies, look. I don't like tall wellies. I've got a pair in the van. I don't like them so much, but these are. Muck boots, a little version. Zip up the front, really good. Really comfortable as well. Look at the lichen on there. Look at that. And <sighs> I, I keep saying it, but happy flipping days, eh? I just found an oddity. That is the back flipper from a seal pup. The flipping hell's bitten that off. That's incredible, isn't it? I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. The 
back part, it's in and out, look. The seal pup. Fucking hell. I was going to go swimming. Don't think I'll bother now. <laughs> Just going to go and have a look in Brodick Castle now. Around the grounds. There's a bus. Can't you see that? There's bus stops everywhere around the island and they, uh, public transport's really good. But here's the entrance. And apparently, there could be red squirrels in here. So I need to see a red squirrel on the island just to get another one of the big five. Still buzzing about that otter. But there we are, look. Beautiful. Look at this. First magnificent tree I've come across in here, this botanical gardens, beautiful. That's a co cork oak. A cork oak. There we go. Let's get up here, a bit boggy here. Gotta go and feel this. Look at that. This is where your old wine bottle corks come from. Look at it. What a beautiful tree. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Oh. Gorgeous. I just said to Steve, this is going to test my tree spotting skills. But this one's easily identifiable. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Now it hasn't got tree, it hasn't got leaves like an oak tree. They're more like a holm oak. But still a member of the Quercus family. Gorgeous. Look at that. There's a bloody rhododendron growing out of it there, look. Flipping things. Absolutely stunning. Look, here we go. So after that buzz of excitement, on the shore there, Ooh, otter. I'm gonna take you for a little look round the Brodick Castle Gardens and Country Park now. Yeah? While well, we got a nice day, I did promise you I'd show you around here, didn't I? Uh, this is the entrance road. We're walking up here, and there's all sort of forest park walks you can walk around. That looks like a big old lime tree there. Beautiful, here we go. And there's the opening times and prices here. Grey squirrels, yes. Red squirrels, no. Because, there we go. Red squirrels stay up in the canopy. That's why humans have screwed their environment because they've split the woodlands gonna find the nuts in, oh, so yeah they pop to the ground for a short amount of time but they're usually up in the canopy so that's where we've got to look for them and there's the prices let's have an explore it's a car park big old car park huge no overnight parking however The paths go a long way around. They're big old country trails. And as you come out, there's the uh, visitor centre here, cafe, and your public toilets, and also your defib if you need it. Little picnic area. I think it's about 15 quid to walk around here in the summertime. Your bins. Obviously, it's all shut at the moment. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. All these rhododendrons are out. Look at that. Flowers on that. Beautiful. Eucalyptus there. Obviously native to the Australias. Look at that. They have some sort of root system on them. Bloody hell. Got one of them in your garden, you want to get it out. Uh, fab. Let's go and have a look at the castle, eh? Wow. Cabbage tree. Beautiful. Look at that castle there. It's amazing. scaffolding up but it's beautiful here really serene very peaceful come on squirrels where are you so bring your kiddies here there's a lovely adventure playground there look at that wow I'd have loved that when I was a kid look at that one there Do you remember the old metal slides there he goes one there Pain you had sliding down them in the summer. <sighs> Burnt bums. That's brilliant. So just behind the children's playground is the ranger centre. There's also toilets in there. Emergency contact point. No doubt they'll probably have another defib here. There's a Bronze Age roundhouse on the Fairies and Legends Trail. Both of those have just had a, a log out. Let's get rid of that. The Hamilton, Hamilton Trail. What have we got here? Mm. It's going on an adventure. Tree nursery there, where they propagate all their new trees to replenish the ones in the gardens. I think they need to plant a few new ones now after these storms devastated the, uh, the trees. Oh, it's a branch there. Nice you there. And I can hear a river. Wow. Beautiful. 
है So it was spot Frodo and his mate hid down there from the uh, from the baddies on Lord of the Rings. Look at that. Polly? I love having them explore around places like this. I think this is the footpath that takes you up to Goat Fell, which is the highest point on the island, which is over there. So, we're just doing a round trip at the moment. So, old Stephen Sky. There's a Bronze Age roundhouse down there, I think. We're going to go up through here, it looks a bit more wild. Beautiful here, just like a spring day. There's silver birch, laid in the woods. Come on, spring, get a move on. That's a squirrel dray. The squirrels always build their drays up against the trunk. So if you see a something out on the limb that looks like a, a nest that's further out on a limb that generally be a bird that looks like a squirrel tray mm. squirrels come on squirrels Sphagnum moss, and that's a fairy moss growing on top of there. But sphagnum moss has got antibacterial properties, so we used to make wound dressings out of it. And also, yeah, look at that, look. And also, they made uh, the women used to they used to bleach it and dry it out and use it to wipe the afterbirth away from babies. Back in the olden days, I always love seeing sphagnum moss. Beautiful plant. I've got a, I think it's a Roger Phillips book back at home. It's just solely on sphagnum mosses. Look at that little, it's like a little coppice. I love walking through the woods. Gives you an immense feeling of well-being, doesn't it? Lovely. We found the graveyard now. It's there. It's only a little concern. But this belongs to the castle. So this was where the where the gentry would have been buried. Sybil Violet Graham, 1920 to 2017. Mm. Yeah. Don't like graveyards. 
I'll end up in one one day, but not in a moment. Thank you very much. Where's the squirrels? And the Morrison Trail goes straight up. The Knocken Gorge Trail goes that way. Goat Fell goes round there, back to that road, and then up, takes you up into Goat Fell. So that's all National Trust land. They own a bit of land, and they? Through there, it's absolutely stunning. Look at this. That is huge. Huge big tree. There's another flipping rhododendron growing out of a branch up there. Look, they get everywhere. It's a beautiful walk around here. It's well worth coming here. You can imagine in the summertime it's going to be absolutely beautiful. I think we're heading back down now. Look at that one there as well. Look. Huge. Come and help us out, see if you can see a squirrel. Back at the castle now. Did a big loop. But look at these. Or even wants to take me over here. Look at their monkey puzzle trees. They're huge. There's a monkey up there. There's a couple of monkeys down there. Yeah. <laughs> They're flipping squirrels. More likely to see a monkey in Scotland at the moment after that one got out. <laughs> My juice has been caught now, so that's good. Poor little thing. Right, back at the castle. How is that stomp in the Look at that. Look, I think that's a hazel. That's an aerial root system in an old bowl. So that would have been one tree at one point. And the middle would have rotted out. It had gone, it moved out and turned into independ independent trees. As it's grown up out the ground, it's pushed out aerial roots. I explained that in one of my other videos in Hatfield Forest. But look at that. Nature always finds a way. Do like their monkey puzzles though, look at that. Right. Lovely. Had a nice walk round there. We're on our way out of the castle grounds now. There's another payment point there. There's lovely waterfalls and water features all round here. It's absolutely stunning. And there's a squirrel hiding there. Obviously I'm not keeping on top of it at the moment because we've not seen no squirrels. But perhaps you could see them in the summertime. We're heading out now. What's this? The Horlick Collection. There's all little bits of garden all round here to explore. Down there, look. Right, what's down here? Right, so we're at the castle grounds now. And there's a leather workshop. Gonna go and have a look in there. Also, the Aaron Brewery Company. Oh, oh, oh. There's a gallery there. And like a little souvenir souvenir shop over there. Gonna go and have a look in the leather shop. Leaving Bollocky Bill there. Let's go and have a look in here. Leather workshop, look at that. Go over there's making a leather and canvas bag. Beautiful. Oh my god, it smells lovely in here. Shoulder bags, belts. Oh my dear. Look at that. Stunning. Mmm, smells good. Yeah. Very good. They're all singers down there. Same machines. Heavy duty ones. Fucker. Thank you. Let's go and see. I don't think this is open. It says open. I don't know if it is or not. Let's go and have a look. Oh, it is. Let's have a look. Brewery now. Beer everywhere. I'm gonna get Steve one of these. Look, at least he'll get one sort of red squirrel. They've got loads of stuff in there. Look, all that beer. 
Mm-hmm. Get a couple of red squirrels out there. Aaron Brewery. Beer everywhere. I suppose you can do tastings in here. Let's go around this side and I'll get a couple of those beers. Let's get a couple of beers. Just seen a red squirrel. There you go. There's the only red squirrel we're going to see today, mate. Oh well, squirrel. needs must. I've got a red squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> Scan drink it. It's worth a gander around in there. I've just bought a Viking board game, which looks really interesting. It's a bit like chess. So, we're heading back to the van now. I don't know where um, Steve's gone. There he is. Heading back to the van now. So, I'll see you there. All right, so we're back at base now. Sammy's got a 300mm lens on the front of her R7 now. On the other little Gitso tripod. A little travel one. And I've got Big Bertha out again. Let's see if we can get that otter. Well, there's the Maganzas out there. Herring gulls. And Sammy got a photograph of a gull. And it's only eating a starfish. How cool is that? So I'll put that up at the end. Anyway. I'm going to leave this one here so thanks for subscribing thanks for watching please like and comment really appreciate that and i'll see you on the next one hope you enjoyed it eh? you take care stay safe and stay sane i'll catch you on the next one see you later bye